I am Lakshmi Kittur. Currently, I am pursuing M.Tech research in information security from NITK Suratkar. I passed out from GIT in 2019 from CSC department. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the college and the department of CSC for inviting me to talk to you people about my gate journey. So before I tell you about my gate journey, I would like to answer a simple question that why should anyone write a gate exam? So when I started around, there was a myth around me uh, that oh, uh, she wants to become a professor. That's why she's writing gate. Of course, that is one of the options. Like it is a great profession, but it is not the only option. You can pursue MTech from reputed institutes like IIT. IIT Bombay is great for uh, CSC. Then there are NITs and there are triple ITs. Uh, triple ITs also you. Um, some are private and some are government funded so they are also very good institutes you have great placements there you come in contact with some intellectual people the environment is what you are looking for whenever you join any institute so that is one of the options another option is that if you have qualified gate then you can apply to many public sector jobs so which are these uh, like you have drdo nic ONGC and ISRO. ISRO has its own exam. The syllabus is almost like GATE. So these organizations they need that you are a GATE qualified student. But uh, some of them have a criteria that if you have qualified GATE, then only you can apply. So take uh, writing the GATE exam and qualifying it gives you a lot many opportunities than you already know. So coming to my journey, so I started preparing for GATE uh, in 6th semester. Uh, so what I did was like I first checked the GATE syllabus. So ideally anyone who is starting GATE first should go and check the GATE syllabus. So the GATE syllabus, it has like aptitude section, it has English section, it has many technical subjects, CSC subjects like computer organization, compiler design, theory of computation data structure and algorithm computer networks and so on and they have a math section so at that time what i did was i checked the gate syllabus and i checked my college syllabus at that semester um, whichever subjects were in common i started preparing from those subjects i took some online courses uh, because there is no gate coaching center for CAC in Belga. So I thought taking some online lectures would help me and that really did help me. So ideally how you prepare for the gate is that that is what I followed that I took a topic, studied it thoroughly, made my notes and then I went to the old question papers, saw those old question papers and if there was something that I didn't get or uh, I didn't understand, I would come back to the topic and then again solve those questions and then jump to new questions. So ideally it is um, expected that you finish your portion by November so that you get two months that uh, December and January for revision and test series because the gate exam is in February so I try to follow that here revision is very much important because there are so many subjects such huge syllabus like computer network CEO these are some tricky subjects the questions that come here are slightly on a difficult level but if you have studied well you can definitely solve it so you need lots of revision if you don't revise then it's not possible for you to give your gate exam smoothly so revision as and when you go on completing the syllabus or some topics keep revising them keep solving them that is one key aspect so and by the time you come to January, you feel really frustrated. You feel like giving up. But that is the point where you should not give. So you should work hard. You have got that one month. Give it your 100%. Solve more questions. In a, because there is a time frame within which you have to solve the questions. So you have to give your 100%. Because I have been through that situation where you feel frustrated. And then... And then I have learned that you should not get tense. If you get tense, then it will worsen everything. 
and many people uh, like my friends and some juniors ask me like how do you start and all it is a subjective matter like which courses you take or from where to learn there are many free materials that are available online if you do a simple google search you get lots of material there is like stack overflow there is gate overflow where you get you uh, many questions uh, new questions and then you have old question papers also you can ask questions then the peers who are there they answer to your questions also there are um, youtube channels they are they are explaining to you subjects there are some online courses which are offered like um, ravindra babu or rahula he is one of them and then there are many academies like gate academy gate forum ace academy you can refer the books uh, some books are maybe available online or you can take up their course so it's a very subjective matter like where to take the material and what to learn one thing that i feel is that you should be serious about gate if you're not serious about gate then i don't i won't tell it that it is impossible to crack the gate exam but it would become difficult so if you are preparing for gate be serious about it give it your 100% that is when you will achieve your goal so i would say that don't waste too much time searching around like how to start the exam what to read and where from where to read just start and you will figure the things out as and when you go on preparing so uh, good luck if you have any queries or any doubts you can email me at um, lakshmikittu20 at the rate of gmail.com good luck